Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm now going to answer question number four from the International A-Level and Excel Statistics S1 paper from October 2022. Now this question is about the cumulative distribution function for the discrete random variable W, which takes only the values 6, 7 and 8, and is given by FW, means the cumulative distribution, is equal to W plus 3 times W minus 1 over 77, as mentioned for W equals 6, 7, and 8. So what it means is there is a discrete random variable. What does that mean? It means there is, um, the, you know, the, the outcomes of an experiment, okay, of a random experiment. Outcomes of an experiment, they can be the number 6, 7, or 8. We don't know what the experiment is. It could be anything, right? We don't need to know what it is. But the outcomes of the experiment can either be the numbers 6, 7, or 8. Those are the only three outcomes, right? And they've told us that the, the cumulative distribution function means the, the sum of the probabilities as you go along. The probability of getting um, a 6 is given by this, if you substitute 6 into here. The probability of getting a 6 or a 7, cumulative, when you put 7 into here, well, uh, that will tell you the probability of getting a 6 or a 7. And the probability of getting a 6, 7 or 8 will be found when you um, substitute 8 into here. And of course, the probability of getting 8, this is only these three possibilities, is going to equal 1. And we can confirm that because you put 8 plus 3 is 11. Uh, um, times 8 minus 1, which is 7. 11 times 7 is 77. 77 over 77 is 1. So we can see that the cumulative distribution function, the total for, you know, the, the, the last one is going to be 1 because all the probabilities in a probability distribution add up to 1. All right, so I'm going to make a little table here and I'm going to... Second, what's happened there? I'll take this table and we're going to use this table to fill in these values. So we've got basically our values for the discrete random variable, which are 6, 7, or 8. We're going to here write down the probability each of these outcomes, which we're going to find, and we're going to find fw as well right so we can find fw straight away by using this formula okay we can fill in the fw part by using this formula so i know that when w is equal to six then we're going to have f6 is going to be six plus three which is nine times six minus one which is five over 77 that's 45 over 77 so this is 45 over 77. And of course, that, that will be the same as the um, probability for that first one because it's like the cumulative uh, you know, probability. So for W equals 7, when W equals 7, you have F7 is equal to, and we're going to put instead of W7, so that would be 7 plus 3, which is 10 times, and then you're going to have uh, 7 minus 1, which is 6. So 10 times 6, 10 times 6, over 77 which gives us 60 over 77 all right so that's a cumulative okay probability so basically you have to um you know th this is the sum of these two this is the sum of these two fractions so 45 so is that 60 over 77 or 66 why did i write 66 okay that's 60 over 77 okay so um, what do you have to add to 45 over 77 to give you 60 over 77? Well, you have to add 15. So that must be the probability of 7 must be 15 over 77. And we know that the cumulative distribution for FW must be 1, right? The, the, the final one must be 1. They have to add up to 1. And as we confirmed that earlier, if you put 8 in here, you're going to have 11 times 7, which is 77 over 77, which is 1. So we've got to think, what do you have to do to um, add to 60 over 77 to give you 1? Well, that's going to be, it has become 77 over 77, so you have to add 17. So the last one is 17 over 77, all right? Um, and that will give you the 
uh, total. So that's going to be 60 plus 17, that's 77 over 77. So we have the probability distribution. Now that's what we're going to use to work out EW. Because what is EW? EW is basically the expected value of W, which is like the mean of W. All right, so EW is found very simply by just multiplying the um, category by its possibility. So W times the probability of W for each of these and then add it together. All right, so that's how you find the, the mean. The mean is kind of like, uh, this is like a frequency table. You have this many sixes, this many, many sevens, this many eights. You want to find the mean, so you multiply the number of sixes by six, the number of sevens by seven, the number of eights by eight, and then you divide by the number of entries. So here you can say that the sum of the these probabilities has to be one. So it's going to be this times this plus that times that plus that times that divided by one, which you know doesn't make any difference. So you basically just multiply these together and you add them, and that gives you your mean or the expected value of W. So here for finding the EW, you're going to do six times 45 over 77 plus seven times 15 over 77 plus eight times 17 over 77 and that will give us our answer. So we take our calculator and we simply uh, just put that in our calculator. So we have six times 45 over 77 plus seven times 15 over 77 plus we have eight times 17 over 77 and that gives us 73 over 11. 73 over 11 and that's our answer. We can leave it like that. We can round it to 3SF. We can leave it this is exact fraction. That's probably better. So, oops, not EX, EW. It's a W here. So we can say therefore EW is equal to 73 over 11. And there's the answer to this question. It's a pretty short, quite simple question if you know what discrete random variables are all about. Okay, it's a pretty simple little question here. So that completes question number four from the October 2022 International A-Level at Excel paper, um, S1. Um, other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that you should see appearing in this region here. Other questions from discrete random variables I've answered from S1 in the playlist that will appear over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking at the link in the middle. Thank you for watching and see you soon.